Hello and welcome to General Shave. I'm going to be shaving with a DE today, but first I'm going to show you the soap I'm using. It's the uh, Heritage Hill Patriot a large tub. There's the soap inside. It's it's fairly hard. It's not quite croak soft, but you can press it in with your fingers. It's harder than progress, I'll say, but it's fairly hard. Now the uh, Sense is our lime, bergamot and patchouli but from the puck lime comes to the fore lime definitely seems to be the most prior for, uh, forward uh, coming scent there so lime lovely right up my alley lime citrus I love scents like that now I've already lathered it I've bowl lathered I have used this soap once before, I have face lava with a two band badger and cold water, I've been experimenting around a bit and for me I have found a bowl lava and with, well I'm using a tuxedo synthetic, I found that's the best way for me for this soap, just me, you could be different you know but it's worth experimenting, Some, sometimes you might write a soap off, try to lava it a different way, try something slightly different and Bob's your uncle, but just look at that. Can you see the shine in that? Scent strength. It's not over the top. Five and a half, six. So, I've wet the face. I'm going to get this stuff on. Oh, look at that. Rich, dense, silky, nice feeling. That's, look at that, look at that, wow. That is an excellent. So, I know you live over in the States, it's uh, very, very price friendly. Not so much for us here in the UK with uh, ship and whatever, but uh, yeah. This soap, even before it's shaved, tell it's well worth its money right on to the hardware oh prior to lavering I just uh, wet the face water that's all today because I haven't used it for a while in the rotation I'm going to be using my Rockwell 6s I don't know if you can see that but I'm on plate number four plate number four is a 0.61 millimeter blade gap. Oh, also on the subject of the soap, it's uh, it's beef towel based. It's got your usual ingredients in like uh, shea butter, glycerin. They do say go onto the website if you want to see exactly what's in it. There's not a vast amount of stuff in there, but that's the most important thing you need to know is it's uh, beef towel based on the scent notes. So. This feels really nice on my face. I've got a scratch just down the ear there. I don't know how I did it. It wasn't for shaving. Forgetting, forgetting myself in the Rockwell. I've got a brand new Nasset blade. One of my favourite blades. Nasset and the Ruby. Excellent blades for me. I always have to say for me because what's good for me might not be good for you. Well, I do believe that assets are good for most people because I've never heard anybody say that they don't enjoy. Using assets. And I really enjoy using the Rockwell Success. It's my favourite razor, my favourite DE razor. It's so comfortable. And it's probably, I shouldn't say this, I'm tempting fight, but it's probably the least likely razor 
to draw blood. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. What's uh, John June? He's uh, come out with a little nickname for me. Uh, Sublead a lot. <laughs> Based on Sir Lancelot. So Sublead a lot. For those who aren't aware, well, I'm sure you've guessed by the name of Success. Comes supplied with three different plates. You can change the blade gap between one and six. Very versatile razor. Say, so here's my fave, the E. Well, we did it on plate four. I'll leave it on plate four. For all passes. That's how wonderful it is. Fine bit of Canadian engineering. Sorry about the running water. Ice cream. It's my very, very first attempt with Heresy Jill Patriot. Say so I used a cold water and two band badger. I never got as good a lava as I've got now. Ball lava But I think it's mainly down to the synthetic. I really do believe that the synthetic is the best way to lava this soap. In my humble opinion. Everything's in my opinion. Oh, everybody's different. I'm just telling you my findings. And I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying applying this soap even. I'm becoming more and more a fan of the bowl lathering. Get a base, stick it on your face, uh, adjust it once it's on your face. If it's too pasty, add more water. If it's, you know, just get your base going in the bowl. Adjust the consistency once it's on your face. Right, then let's go across the vein with this brand new Nasset. We're looking forward. The smell a little bit more patchouli. I'm just trying to stare in the background. Well, I do like patchouli. Takes me back to when I was a kid. A schoolboy. We used to think you were cool if we spent smell smells of patchouli oil. What was we supposed to smell like? Cannabis. And the rumour at the time was. People who smoke cannabis used to wear patchouli to disguise the scent or the aroma or the smell of the cannabis. The old wacky backy. Excellent. So I had uh, not really used to smoke cannabis when I was a kid. <clears throat> of course I didn't. But uh, when I was about 15, I used to have patchouli scented bath soap and oil. I used to have my long hair, my leather jackets. I used to think I was rock hard. That's probably why I've got so many scars on my scalp these days. I had a few battles as a kid, you know? Yeah, no patchouli. Excellent. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Not only do I have brown towel, I have brown flowers. I'll explain why. It hides the blood. 
Okay. Against the green pass. Yeah, I've initially sure got this care of Marion the Barbarian. Thank you, Marion the Barbarian. He, uh, he's all from the uh, American soap world up to me here because uh, I probably would have never got my hands on the uh, four soaps that he sent me. So thank you very much indeed, Marion. I think this is the this weekend coming up. I think it's uh, our last last weekend of British summertime. Is it the weekend after? That's when the uh, clocks go backwards and we're breathing chilly cold air and there'll be none of these red, yellow, orange leaves on the trees. It's a sad season. It's going to be a long, hard winter, this one. Due to the old COVID. Straight as you know, I struggle against the grain. On the moustache and goatee. The, ge the geometry of the blade. And the Rockwell means there's no problem whatsoever. Put a little weaver on my chin, that's normal for me. So bleed a lot. <laughs> Cheers, John. I think of a name for you, don't you worry? The Razor Doctor. Yeah, I give you nice names when you call me. So bleed a lot. Oh, there's a really close shave off the rock on. Awesome. This is a perfect blade razor combination for me. Nice as Rockwell. Probably be a good 36 hours or more before I really need to shave. You know, before things start to show and it starts to look a little like a hobo. So the post shave feel on that soap. Skin feels waxy, silky. You know when you get that waxy feeling when you've used a good soap. Just gonna go into the right the crack into the cheeks there. Have to do this with most razors, including straights. Anybody else a cap rider? Oh, incidentally, the uh. 250 sub giveaway. The person that won it hasn't gotten back to me. So that will be getting drawn again in the near future. So keep your eyes out. Open. Oh, keep your eyes out. Nice. Let the razor go in on the glide. The residual slickness is great on the soap also, guys. As you can see, that razor is still gliding, and there's no soap left, just the slickness. Take us to the main bits. Dry 
Ralf. Won't be applying any post shave because this is my time. I'm up at 5 a.m. in the morning. So just before I go to bed, I'll be jumping in the shower. So I'll be uh, applying the post shave then, which is just going to be 80% al alcohol based. Right, the verdict on the old uh, Heather to Jill. Patriot, apart from the name, because it's not <laughs> doesn't apply to us. It applies to you guys over the pond. It's uh, the Patriot, but uh, excellent soap. BBS, no irritation. I'm not bleeding. Skin feels silky, really smooth. It's got that waxy feel as though I've already had applied some shaving balm, which I've stopped using altogether anyway, and. I couldn't ask for a better shave than that. So that was the soap, Everest to Jill, the Patriot. Brush was the uh, Lucky Dice 26mm Tuxedo Knot. Soap was ripped up. I might do a head shave with what's left here. Soap was ripped up in the Steph Baxter super duper sized lathering bowl from the Executive Shaving Company. Blade for today was a Nasset, first use. Brand new Nasset blade. And the razor was my Rockwell 6S on plate number four. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Hope to see you again. Catch you further down the line. Bye bye now, guys.